Allowing nine tails to go down, we're going to come in with Politoed. And if they blind Brave Bird, fuck it. They'll probably have Trevenant in the back. We get absolutely wrecked. The Bombers, no powder slows down. That one incinerate did around 40% of our HP. In comes Drapion. Things are looking pretty bleak. We correctly shield up a seed bomb. We fire off the first weather ball. The opponent makes a great switch. Catching the second weather ball onto Trevenant. We powder slow down. And it's now time for the world's riskiest BM. But is Energy Ball going to be enough to knock out? Well, you're going to have to watch the video to find out. If Shadow of Bomberstow manages to sweep despite leading into a talent flame. So today we're back at it with another unique triple shadow team. Weatherball was nerfed, but fuck it. We're gonna run triple shadow, triple weatherball. All three Pokemon are running weatherball. We've all got Hail Marys as the second move. We've got Earthquake on our Politoed, which is obviously legacy. We've got Overheat on Ninetales and Energy Ball on a bomber. Now, this team has a lot of pretty bad weaknesses. For example, this Defense Deoxys can hit all three Pokemon for super effective, so we stay in with a bomber snow, go straight for the Energy Ball. We get no defense drop. There is no point in shielding up. The opponent is going to throw a Psycho Boost. That takes us out. We are now going to come in with Ninetales, because even if they have got Rock Slide, this is going to be debuffed, and fuck it. We aren't going to shield just yet. They go for a Thunderbolt. We are going to commit to the Fire Spin farm down now, Ninetales is absolutely loaded what does the opponent want to come in with the opponent comes in with a walrus they might have two shields but fuck it we're gonna risk it for a biscuit throw the hail mary the opponent shields it up and we come in to polytone up shields this is a pretty decent matchup we are gonna shield a potential earthquake and we correctly shield up the eq you love to see it we are gonna overfilm just slightly and go for an earthquake of our own if the walrus doesn't shield down they go now we have two versus one it is crafty in the back we are going to be spamming out as many weather balls as possible that's pretty much how the team works the opponent doesn't shield the first however this second one is going to get them fairly low does the opponent shield it up yes they do we've got nine tails in the back with some residual energy we aren't going to shield this up the opponent goes for a power up punch we switch out into nine tails we sneak the fire spin through that should get us at the overheat and like an absolute noob. I'm going to hit weather ball as I change Pokemon so often. I don't know what side overheat is on, but it makes zero difference as weather ball is going to be enough to take this game. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next one, we see Shadow Swampert in the lead. The opponent comes in to Sableye. We've got a pretty decent response with our Polito, So we are going to stay in with the Snowman. We shield up the foul play and we are going to go... For a weather ball, if weather ball wasn't nerfed, you could win this straight weather ball. However, you can see it doesn't do all that much damage now. Energy ball would be the play, and I am going to learn from that mistake. We take him out. We have got Skarmory coming in, and we have the perfect response for Skarmory with our nine towers. We throw on correct time, and we're really hoping to CMP tie on the sky attack. The opponent is smart. They don't throw, and we die with a move. In comes nine towers. This is just a sky attack. The opponent is one short of the Brave Bird, and that might cost them. The opponent now switches out into the Swampert, and here comes the Politoed. The opponent is at the Earthquake. We are going to respect it, hoping not to get baited, and we get baited. This game is looking pretty bleak, but you might find out that Weather Ball spam is just so oppressive. The opponent shields up the first. We're going for Weather Ball. Number two, this is going to do respectable damage. If the opponent is on Sludge Wave, Politoed should survive on one HP and a dream which it does we now switch out into nine tails we are going to go for the weather ball before they reach the hydro cannon weather ball will take care of swamper and we are going to outpace the skarmory to the weather ball number two and weather ball spam is so oppressive we take that battle ggs and thanks for playing Moving on to the next battle, we see a Charmer in the lead. This is probably the worst Charmer. They do resist our Ice-type attacks. They now switch out into Swampert after building up a boatload of residual energy. And once again, Weatherball spam is absolutely going off. The opponent didn't shield the first. Are they going to shield? Number two, they are not. So, Ninetales will get aligned with its cousin, the Alolan variant. But fuck it, my Shadow Ninetales is absolutely going to wreck them. The opponent still hasn't thrown a charge move. We chip this nine tails with a weather ball and Politoed is absolutely going off. We now switch out into K9 and K9 is about to feast. The opponent is staying in, so I'm going to shield up the Psy Shop and it is Diggersby. 
in the back. This is going to get somewhat tricky as they have access to Fire Punch, but Fire Punch from such a defense-weighted Pokemon doesn't do too much. We are going to have to shield up the next one. The opponent still has two shields. We are going to have to start shielding up something. We build up a boatload of energy. We are going to fire off a Weather Ball. Is the opponent going to shield? They shield the first, and we are looking to throw on a CMP tie to the next Weather Ball. Does the opponent shield it up? They do not, but they do dump their energy, and the opponent is gifting us the dub. You, my friend, should have shielded up because we're going to fire spin all the way down. Back out comes Nine Tails, and fast moves is all it's going to take. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next one. We see another Swampert in the lead. The opponent switches out into Wigglytuff. You would think this is a pretty good matchup. However, you can see that being Shadow, these charms are really starting to chunk as we go for the Weather Ball, and the opponent shows zero respect. We are going to allow Ninetales to go down. This isn't fantastic. However, we can now farm down this wiggly tough. If I would have went for the overheat, Swampert would have come in and went to absolute farm town. That is not something that I want. So we come in with the Toad. We've got a Weather Ball ready to go. Back out comes the Swampert. As they know, we have a Bomber Snow. I highly doubt the opponent is going to shield. We go straight for the EQ and it lands for big damage in the back. Is another Charmer. This 30 fucking bastard is running double charm. We might be saving our shields for season 12. However... Weather Ball spam is so oppressive. We're getting absolutely shredded by Charm, but we are going to start unleashing Weather Ball after Weather Ball. First one gets the shield. Weather Ball number two should draw the final shield from the opponent. The opponent's win con now is to fast move down the entirety of our team. However, Politoed comes in. One more mud shot. We make the Weather Ball. Weather Ball is going to take care of Clefable and Triple Shadows are about to beat Double charm without even needing to use a shield. You love to see it. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle. We see Wallface in the lead. Holy crap, this is absolutely dreadful. We are ABA weak to this bloody brick wall. As Nine Tails obviously would be also taken super effective from SmackDown. We fire Energy Ball. Number one, we get some lag. The opponent is looking to fast move us all the way down. And the Snowman is putting in a lot of work in an unfavorable matchup. We get Wallface into the red. And we are going to have to come in with Politoed. The opponent switches out into Trevident. And here comes Nine Tails. The opponent is at the Energy for a Shadow Ball, we are going to shield it up, hoping we don't get baited. The opponent throws the Seed Bomb. Boo, Mr. Opponent. However, this is just another Seed Bomb as they are not at the energy for a Shadow Ball. We tank it. If Bastiodon does come back, they will lose CMP. So if Bastiodon wants to get off its energy, it is going to have to shield up. A Weather Ball, they do shield. And we are going to allow Nine Tails to go down. We are going to hope that Politoed with energy can clean up this battle. Can we farm down before they make a charge move? We cannot. Stone Edge is going to do a respectable amount of damage. We are going to shield it up. What is in the back? It is Venusaur and this game is over. So we lose that battle. Moving on to the next one. We lead into a Trevenant. You absolutely love to see it. The opponent attempts to catch a Weather Ball on a Zoom Roll, but we aren't falling for that nonsense. We go straight for the Energy Ball. The opponent shields it up and we now switch out into Politoed. Obviously, it doesn't want to see that really annoying tree. Play roughs do really chunk. However, we are resisting the bubble. So we don't shield up the first. We go straight for the earthquake. We throw a good timing. We threw one mud shot for one bubble, only giving away one free turn. We are going to outpace now to the next earthquake. Does the opponent want to commit a shield? They do not. And this is fantastic because we've got two great answers. For the Trevenant, back out comes the tree. We are just going to spam out a weather ball for a little bit of chip damage. It does respectable damage for the tree. And as we've got two great responses, we are going to switch out into nine towers. We shield up the shadow ball we are going to commit to the fire spin farm down the opponent actually makes another shadow ball as they are staying in i think they might be weak to fire in the back we shield it up and in the back they have the Pancake Galarian Stunfisk, we fire off. A Weather Ball, the opponent shields it up. I don't think I'm going to make the overheat before the Rock Side comes through, so we are going to fire off another Weather Ball, and Stunfisk is now deep into the yellow. The opponent does throw on nine, the one short of the double Rock Side, so we come in. We are going to look to make an absolutely pointless play. We are going to attempt to catch for no apparent reason, other than the fact I like to flex. That goes absolutely dreadful. The opponent is going to get to the Rock Side. However, Rock Side is not going to KO, and we are going to make this weather ball and take that battle ggs and thanks for playing moving on to the next battle we lead shadow of bomber snow into trevenant you absolutely love to see it the opponent say switches into drapion and we answer with polytoed earthquake would absolutely one shot we aren't going to shield up the first crunch crunch is going to do respectable damage but as they have a chance of a defense drop we look to cmp tie 
On the next crunch, however, Polito loses CMP. I didn't know this matchup until now, as I actually think Toad is a poor man swamp, and I never use it. However, the opponent shields up AEQ, and we got baited with an Aqua Tower, so I know I am going to outpace to this next Weather Ball. Weather Ball is going to land for respectable damage. And losing Switch isn't going to be a bad thing as both of our back two Pokemon absolutely piss on that stupid tree. We are going to come in now with a Bomber Snow look to commit to the Powder Snow farm down the opponent reeks. Just an Aqua Tail. I learned from getting baited this is only four. We tank the Aqua Tail. Absolutely no problem. And a Bomber Snow is absolutely loaded. Back out comes Trevenant. I've got no idea why you'd come in to Trevenant. They must be weak to ice in the back. The opponent makes a great catch onto their Swampert. However, Swampert, are you willing to shield up? Weatherball, number two. Yes, you are. But guess what? We are so spammy. The opponent does now manage to CMP tie. We lose CMP. Another new play from myself. We've lost CMP twice in this battle. And I like to say stay in school, kids. Learn to count. However, I'm now going to adapt that to learn who wins CMP. If you want to know about this, you can use PV Poke. But either way, we undercharge that move. Got some farm. We forced the Trevident to throw a move. They throw the Seed Bomb. Out comes Nine Tails. Even a Shadow Ball isn't going to KO. And we outpace to this Weather Ball. And that's going to be all she wrote. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next one. We see Shadow of Bomber Snow into a Lola Marowak. Holy crap, absolutely dreadful. And as if things weren't bad, this opponent has Azumarill in the back. We are going to bait the Solar Beam. Does the opponent respect the potential beam? Yes, they do. Obviously, Azu did not fancy getting one shot. The opponent now makes a really noob play. They dump energy and they actually go for a Hydro Pump. You love to see it. At this stage now, we can come in with a Bomber Snow and look to farm up a whole boatload of energy. In comes a Bomber Snow. I believe this is six, so it looks like they might be on Play Rough and Hydro Pump, which they are. So we can now over farm to almost maximum energy. We are going to fire off. This energy ball, energy ball won't, won't quite KO, but we are going to be able to Powder Snow down before they make the next charge when we're spamming out Politoed. Can Politoed up shields? Shout out Muhammad Ali. He always says, if in doubt, save two shields for the Donny. And Politoed in this battle is about to be the motherfucking Donny. We shield up the foul play. We're going straight Earth. Earthquake, no baits on this channel. Earthquake lands. We are going to now mud shot all the way down after committing our final shield. So thanks, Mo. I've took that top tip on. We are going to double shield the Donny. Out comes Marowak. Even if you no shield this, we're at the back to back. The opponent doesn't shield the first. We make the second. We have a move banked on a Bomber Snow and this game is over. The opponent does shield up the next one. This is just a Bone Club. Bone Club, my good friend, is absolutely garbage. We survive that. Get to one more weather ball and that is all she wrote. GG's and thanks for playing. So on a more serious note, if you hard lose lead and lose the switch, sometimes saving two shields for your back Pokemon, you can sweep. Moving on to the next battle. We need Shadow of Bomber Snow into Metachan. Absolutely dreadful. We say switch into Nine Towers and this absolute Spice Lord is running Shadow Star Raptor. We go for a Weather Ball. That gets the shield. We go for Weather Ball. Number two, that also gets the shield. This Star Raptor now is absolutely loaded. We come in with a Bomber Snow. Hello, Mr. Opponent. Would you like to throw a charge move? Evidently, they do not. This is just going to be a power up punch. We are going to tank the power up punch. Get off the energy ball and the energy ball is going to land for big damage. It should put Metachan into Weather Ball range. We now switch out once again into Poly up shield so for the second time in two battles we are saving two shields for our back pokemon aka two shield the donny we are going to go straight earthquake as weather ball does pretty much fuck all we land the earthquake it gets lickitung into the yellow we are going to get outpaced to this body stun we are going to commit our final shield we are now going to look to over farm as much as physically possible i don't believe weather ball would knock out we go for the safe play of an earthquake earthquake ko's lickitung out comes Metachan. We get to this Weather Ball, but is Weather Ball going to be enough to knock out? No, it's not. The opponent survives on one HP and a dream, but this is just a power up punch. We will survive and we will be able to mud shot down and take that game. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle, we lead Shadow of Bomber Snow into another wall face. You hate to see it. We get some lag, so as if this matchup wasn't bad enough, and the fact we're ABA weak to wall face lag obviously isn't going to help. We land the Energy Ball, and this Bastion on is Super XL. That Energy Ball didn't do all that much damage, but even with the lag, we make Energy Ball number two. Bastion on is in the red, but 
they are a lot more healthy than the first one. We aren't going to shield the first Stone Edge, and I highly doubt we can mud shot down before Stone Edge. Number two, can we do it? We cannot. I am going to shield up. This next Stone Edge, I'm not willing to throw any energy. I think my only win con is leaving with a boatload of energy. We get the farm down, but the opponent is up shields and have two healthy Pokemon. They come in. Two Vic, we bank an Earthquake, and it is Nine Tails in the back. However, our Nine Tails is going to melt this opposing Nine Tails. The opponent is throw in which is a mistake they should go for the fast move finish as we sneak we are going to leave with the back-to-back -back weather balls both weather balls should draw the shield from the opponent and we're going to earthquake the absolute shit out of it but they shield the first nine tails is super low but it might look like nine tails might not need polito we make weather ball number two that gets the shield the razor leaf doesn't take us out and nine tails says despite being down shields a fuck you with your toxic team ggs and thanks for playing Moving on to the next battle, we pick up another dreadful lead. Shadow of Bombers, though, into the Kentucky Fried Chicken Bird of Death. We say switch into Nine Tails. We shield up a potential Brave Bird, and this Savage baits me with a Flame Charge. We are going for the Weather Ball bait ourselves, and we got baited. The opponent calls the bait, but guess what? Nine Tails doesn't give a fuck. We're going to spam out another Weather Ball, and the opponent now commits a shield. They throw on only two incinerators is a flame charge we are going to survive and the opponent is now going to be forced to double shield if they want to keep this talent flame alive this weather ball will knock out from this range the opponent does double shield and it looks like they are committing to the incinerate farm down this is going to be pretty tricky most talent flames come with a trevenant so i'm going to come in to polytoad if the opponent blind brave birds me fuck it so be it we're going to put all our chips on a bomber snow we get taken out a bomber snow takes one incinerate and it does around 40 percent of our hp it's drapion in the back we are gonna have to shield up absolutely everything the opponent goes for the more expensive sludge bomb we throw one powder snow and the weather ball this is going to do respectable damage to drapion the opponent has to tank it as they have no shields they now catch on trevenant weather ball will not care we should be able to powder snow down afterwards and a bomber snow looking in a rough spot is now sitting pretty sweet and fuck it just because you add such good alignment i am going to go for the bm energy ball is energy ball enough to knock out yes it is and we take that game who would have thought leading shadow of bomber snow into talon flame them getting really boosted a bomber snow can sweep i didn't think it but we managed to pull it off moving on to the next one another dreadful lead a bomber snow into reggie steel we can only hit four resisted and focus blast would one shot us we come in two polysode we shield up a zap cannon the opponent switches out into the mighty blue mouse as on bomberil as umeral shout out shrady for that reference we tank the player off and we are going straight for another earthquake we are one stage debuff but polytoad is hitting pretty hard the opponent lets it go i'm going to over farm as much as possible weatherball debuff will not care go, so i go straight for the earthquake the opponent lets it go we have flip switch which is absolutely beautiful back out comes reggie steel i get scared thinking i won't reach the earthquake so i'm going to spam out a weatherball and the opponent shields up anyway polytoad makes one more weather ball actually it did not so throwing the weather ball was the correct play as i wouldn't have made the earthquake we can now come in two nine tails they throw the zap cannon we do not shield it up the opponent has sableye in the back this is going to be somewhat of a tricky spot like i said at the start of the video weather ball isn't the play so i'm going to shield this up i'm going straight for the Hail Mary energy ball after over farm and i imagine the opponent is going to save their shield for reggie steel energy ball one shots back out comes the reggie steel they might think they resist everything but if they do not shield up this energy ball they will get fast move down the opponent doesn't shield and this game is over the opponent is going to take us out but they're left solo on hp we come in with nine towers and we fire spin down and take that battle ggs and thanks for playing so those were the battles with the triple shadow triple weather ball team would I recommend this team? Yes and no. I think Triple Weather Ball is possible. I don't think these are the free Pokemon that you want to use. Obviously, things like Defense Deoxys have got great play against the entirety of our team. And other than Nine Tails, we're not really applying as much fast move pressure. Any counter user can be quite problematic as counter is such a good fast move. And our fast moves, other than Fire Spin, are doing essentially nothing. So you can get farmed the fuck down. However, it was pretty fun to use. It's nice to see a variety of things on the channel a lot of fast move pressure so today we've gone with charge move pressure so if you're enjoying the content smash that like button if you're new consider subscribing if you've got some triple shadow battles you'd like featured on the channel link to my battle submission form is down below and i will see you all in the